the first one on the frog for the whole trip. Let's close it out strong. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Got him. For day three, the third and final day, we're super pumped to get out here and are actually gonna head to the far end of the lake this morning. Hit the trees where we caught that big in yesterday. See if we can't get started with some top water. May or may not happen based on previous performance this trip, but maybe today is the day it could be the one. We might catch the giant this morning. And if I'm not already hyped enough at 6 a.m., we got the Java monster on deck, baby. Let's get the hot tamale in the water. We do not want to dilly dally. We want to get straight to it and on a high note. So let's do it. Stump of the morning before the first fish. Nice, nice. I was trying to keep it down. I'm like, okay, is it a fish or is she on a tree? <laughs> sure enough, it fought back. <laughs> Get that tension, because if I would have let any slack, he would have came straight off that hook. The bottom, got him. All right, guys, second fish of the morning, probably about five minutes after that first one. We seem to be kind of figuring it out, dialing it in with the swim bait. Weston might end up having to switch yeah, it up. Now. <laughs> but we're in an area where it seems to be that they're kind of stacked up, so we're going to go ahead, get this guy back in the water, and try and get after a big one. Like a four. Dang. Well, I was trying to bring him up out of the well, keep him down and get him up out of the trees is kind of a fine line. I'm on again. Back to back cast. Did that just oh. uh, well, no. Yeah, go ahead. Let's just get him in here. Wow. Throw right there real quick. The, the, that bigger one just came off. Yeah, we might find just a quick school right here. Uh, they might be piled up. I don't know what's going on over yonder. We could live scope it, but we ain't got the time for that. We're gonna get this one back in the water, try and get another. My first fish of the morning, day three. Let's go, man. Three fish in the boat already. Sayonara, sucker. Got my tail. That's the last straw. That was crazy. I've caught no fish today. And then I lose a big one. <laughs> Thanks. Let me hold him delicately. <laughs> Back in. The thing is, if you buy one share, you're not emotional too. I just buy one to watch it. And then if it drops down to 20 or 30 bucks, you're not um, you're not worried about it. That dip happened and people bought it right back up. I wouldn't go crazy with it because then you'll go back to your girl and say, Weston said you should do this. You bought on a dip. It was 52 when, at market open or something like that. So you bought it when it lowered. You made it like that. It was a smart play. Utilizations at 100%. 
All right, we're on. That's a fish right there. Come in here, boy. Get in the boat right off the trees. Pardon me while I pause our AMC stock live stream. Just listening to a little Matt Coors trying to soak up what's going on with our PL over there on Robin Hood. And we got us a nice little young buck in the trees. Because <sighs> I let the big ones go, apparently, man. Oh, it was like a four. They flop right off the hook. So let's get youngster back in the water and uh, hope he's able to be a nice solid five pounder so I can get him on the hook and lose him. Here's a lesson in retying, y'all. If you think you need to retie, do it. You do it and do it and do it until the job is done. And then you do it some more. Have you heard the do it speech? You, you just gotta do it. Well, honey. Well. <laughs> Ooh, it's heavy. Is it swimming to the right? Do I have, it's a little guy. I'm like, what is going on? Aww. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, it's kind of heavy. It's kind of not. It's going this way. Why is my line moving? <laughs> All right. Second one for me. We switched it up, man. We have been uh, going through the saucy swimmers. I meant to stock up on soft plastics before we came here, but I did not. So we've downsized from the 4.8 inch saucy swimmer to this four inch exo swim. I'll give you guys the close up right here. This is uh, the, I think it's feeder shad color. It's just very similar to the belly color of the saucy swimmer that we were throwing. So that is that. Here's this little guy. Uh, no need to get a close up on him because he's not much to look at, but uh, here's the packaging, Carl's Bait and Tackle, y'all. They got you hooked up with the Exo Swims Bad Mamba Jamba. It's a little short for this hook. The hook's looking a little big, right? But uh, that's okay. We're making things happen. It's the paddle tails we've got in the boat, and Devin is now on. Is that decent? No. Right after Weston threw that other one back, I locked on. This is that same swim bait, just a different color. It's gonna be that green pumpkin pearl. Both colors seem to be working, so let's keep at it. There's fish, 15 feet straight ahead. There's fish right on this little hump. They're chasing the saucy swimmer. Nope. Nope. It's a fish. You got him. That's a fish. You got him. As soon as we made a move. Oh, he's not bad. Nice. Net, you think so? Please. All right. Let's go for it. Please. Bring him on over there. Oh, thank you. We saw a couple off that me. little hump. <laughs> nice little ledge right here, guys. So we just made a move. It's been, uh, I won't tell you how long it's been, but it's been a second since our last catch. We decided to dart on over here, hit a new little area. And as soon as it tapers from like probably up to like five feet down to about 10 or 15, uh, we saw some fish there. They were chasing the saucy swimmer and didn't hit it, but then she secured it on the T-ring. I'll let her tell you the story. This is honestly probably one of the healthiest looking fish that we've pulled out on this trip. Short, stacked, it was a good fight. It was, I didn't know how big it was until we saw it. Didn't really need to net it, but hey, another fish in the boat secured. Let's try and get some more. We're in a new location. They might be on fire. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. Look at this ledge. It literally goes from four feet to, you caught him in about 10 feet. They're staying right above that. They're staying right at where the thermocline's at. There's a couple. Close one down. Close to him. Close to him. He might eat it. He's got it. He's got it. That was good. Nice. Sick. That's oh, that's good. a good fish. He's got some length. He's got some fight all of a sudden. Yep. Yep. Texas rig. Wow, we called that one. I saw it drop and I saw him chasing down. That was sick. Absolutely sick. Man, that's how you want to finish off a trip. We only got a couple hours left and that is a nice fish right there. Woo. Well, I haven't done too much talking. I don't think about sprayed lettuce, but it's a color these fish have not seen before. You got a little bit of that purple flake with the green. When it comes to them Guggen baits, that is something new. Definitely excited on that catch. Man, saw him. 
dive down on live scope and eat the bandito bug. That is what you want to happen. Let's get this thing back in the water. I think uh, we might be able to link up with a couple more here before we call it quits, y'all. What a day. Okay, get ready to cast it. this one. Straight in front of the nice, let it drop. You're in a good spot, I think. Let it drop, let it drop, let it drop. Let it drop. Oh, you're gonna pass right by him, I think. Oh, might get a hit, might get a hit. Might get a hit. Let it hit the bottom, pop it a couple times. Okay, let's go over there by the big tree again and we'll just kind of scan as we come down here. Yeah. This is a great spot. That might be a fish. I'm gonna fall right on him. He's chasing it down, he bit it. Got him. Wow, pulled off another one, man. That was cool, Some uh, Swim after it, eat it, felt the bite. Boom, live scope. Whew, absolute nuts. Wow, there's like a second ledge over here. Dude, this stuff is just such a game changer. You can see them. Like he's got electronics where he can see just below the boat, like those little waveforms and stuff. But you wouldn't be able to do this. You wouldn't be able to like look and scan and see the bass. Yeah, we can just, I think that, I mean, there's bass in this zone. So if, if we just fan cast and hit some stumps, we might be, we might be onto something. Yeah, it is grass. This is pretty thick grass right here. It's a lot different. Maybe we should break out the swim baits if we're casting up here. Texas rigs if we're casting out there. Nice. First cast with the swim bait. First cast with the swim bait in the shallows. Whoa, that's not oh, a bad that's one. Right. That's not a bad one. You lost the XL swim. Excellent. Another one bites the dust. No. Pretty First one on the frog for the whole trip. Let's close it out strong with a freaking catch and release. Oh, don't know how we do it, but we do it. Dang it, that was right off the cover. Please tell me how I missed that one. Broke. Uh, are we are we on it pretty good? Interesting. <sighs> okay, y'all. This has uh, I've never even seen this happen to anybody. The strap literally broke as Devin was cranking our boat up today, on the final day of the trip, which is so crazy because we would not have been trusting this uh, at all <laughs> if let's say we were to stay here another day. So we're gonna have to take this, get it fixed up right away. Luckily what she was able to do to get us out of the water because it was starting to slide down is she took the safety strap Which is normally this latch right here hooked to this locking pin and then also the boat Okay, so what had happened is she just disconnected it She hooked it to the boat and she hooked it to the metal piece right here on the crank And so she's locked down pretty good But also we have those two straps in the back that we just cranked nice and tight that definitely makes me doubt this uh, strap system I Didn't know that was a thing We'll catch you guys back at the cabin for a wrap up. This has been an absolute epic trip. like we're not done yet man uh, we might not make it to a recap we literally have low fuel range right now and we're towing and the closest gas station is miles and miles away we couldn't even go back to the cabin first to uh, check out we actually had to make this drive so hopefully we can get to the gas station fill this thing up and then we can go close things out get the pups walked and all that jazz but uh, yeah uh, wish us luck on our trek to the old Exxon Mobil. Whoa, thank you GMC, <laughs> she's reliable. <laughs> we made it man, with maybe a mile to spare. Insert card, please take my money at this point. Yo. Cheers guys. Successful trip. <laughs> well, 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 Whew. we made it. And by we, I mean you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end. I hope you enjoyed this. Something entirely different. Just a mega 
vlog. If you did enjoy it, please let us know down in the comments. We'd love to do more stuff like this for you guys in the future. If you haven't already, drop that like. You know I'd appreciate it. If you went ahead, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, notifications on so you don't miss any future episodes. And don't forget to tell your friends who are into bass fishing what we're all about. If they want to see some bank, kayak, john boat, bass boat, you name it, travel type of stuff. We went ahead, got the pups walked. We are going to freshen up. We're going to make our drive back up to Dallas and we'll catch you guys on the next big trip. See you then. Thank <laughs> you.